finally going to get the new motorcycle. Okay, we are here. You've arrived at your destination. Hale Sports Center. Man, there's nothing but Harley Davidsons in here. Let's redo the reveal. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Finally, my brand new motorcycle is here and ready to be revealed. In the last video, I asked you guys to guess what bike it is. And the first viewer that guessed what it is, his name is Johnny. I'm not going to say his last name, but he has won a free Cycle Cruiser t-shirt of his choice and a Cycle Cruiser sticker and I will be contacting you and, but for those of you guys who want to get my t-shirts and hoodies and all my other Cycle Cruiser apparel now go to CycleCruiser.com but before I reveal this video, I just want to say, guys, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe. And I have awesome gear here. I have links to all my gear, like this airbag vest to help keep you safe out there on the streets. I never leave home without it. My ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, motor vlog camera, my jacket, pants, boots, shorty gloves. I have links to all my gear in the description and comment section of this video. Okay, now I know a lot of you guys out there, you're gonna be like, Psycho Cruiser. Some of you guys are gonna be like, why did you get this bike? And some of you guys are gonna be like, man, this bike's awesome. But let me give you the list of all my other bikes before I reveal this so you can kind of understand. Oh, I've had some of the fastest bikes and coolest bikes. I started off, I had a crappy 178cc Chinese scooter. Then I had a 2011 Honda CBR 250R, a 2008 Honda CBR 600 Double R, a 2012 Honda CBR 1000 Double R, a 2014 Yamaha WR 250R Dual Sport, a 2016 Ducati X Diavo S, a 2017 Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 Factory. Uh, 2019 Yamaha YZ 450FX Custom Supermoto, which I still have. The most fun motorcycle I ever had. I did a full build series on it, by the way. I have a link in the description and comment section of this video. Uh, a 2020 Yamaha MT-09 Matte Raven Black that I just sold last year. 2022 Surron X Electric Dirt Bike, which is right here. Did a full review on that. Go check the videos I did on that. And now, it has come down to this bike. A 2022 brand new. Let's redo the reveal. Bam! <laughs> Yamaha MT-07 brand spanking new Matt Raven Black. Check it out in all its glory. Look at that. Looking sick. Check it out, man. It's got that awesome parallel twin engine. 75 horsepower, 49.5 pound feet of torque. Not the fastest motorcycle I ever had, but I will tell you the reason why I got this bike and I had wanted to get this bike for many years, many years. Check it out here, brand new. We got three miles on it. The reason why is because this bike is lightweight, 406 pounds stock, and I'll get it even lighter when I take all the a lot of this crap off, you know, put on the aftermarket exhaust or whatnot. It, but you put an aftermarket exhaust on this bike, it sounds so awesome, man. I know you guys already know that. But this has a great bottoming grunt. It's got all the torque available to 6,500 RPM. Uh, so you get that stoplight to stoplight awesomeness of torque power right off the line. Um, they say this is a wheeling machine. We'll see. We'll see. In the first ride, I'll do the first ride in my next video, which will be on Tuesday at 11:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to check that out. And um, and another thing is, guys, I will tell you this. One thing I love about this, I think this is the best looking of all the MT bikes, in my opinion. I thought the MT09 is the older one was ugly. The new one is even uglier. 
The MT-10 has always been ugly. The old one looked like a transformer. The new one I don't like the looks of, but it looks marginally better. Um, but I always like the looks of the MT-07. And I will tell you this, guys. I love the seating position. I love this. You don't have this big hump of a tank like the Super Duke R. You, uh, the MT-09 has got the big hump part there. This one, the tank's not intrusive. It's nice, comfortable, upright seating position, man. Um, it just feels good to me. The MT-07 has always felt great to me. Nice, small bike. You know, only 406 pounds. Like I said, you drop, take off, put on an aftermarket exhaust which I plan on possibly putting in a Kropovich titanium. The only thing is, is I heard it's a pain in the butt to take out the silencer of it. You have to drill it out or something or get a special tool. Leave a comment below on what exhaust you think I should get or should I get the Arrow, Black, Xero, Black Arrow full exhaust, which looks awesome and blacks it out even more, um, which it sounds pretty cool too. And it's cheaper than the Kropovich, but I like a Kropovich, man. They, it, it's, it's just quality. Uh, I'm going to flash, do the ECU flash with my DynoJet ECU flasher, which you can get one for your bike. I have a link to in the description and comment section of this video. And I show you how to do the ECU flash on the uh, 2020 uh, Yamaha MT-09 that I owned uh, last year. I did an ECU flash on it. And it tunes it perfectly with the exhaust that you have on your bike and everything, man. And that thing is awesome. It takes the restrictions off and you get the full balls to the wall power and uh, it even fixes the d-cell pop which i know a lot of you guys like that sound but it tunes it perfectly with that ecu flasher like i said link in the description and comment section of this video i have a lot of mods planned put in a proper fender eliminator kit of course get rid of that ugly thing i'll be doing the bar and mirrors um on this which makes this bike look awesome um, probably be putting some turn signals maybe on the on the forks or wherever. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that or not, but This thing's gonna look sick when I'm done. It looks sick now in my opinion, man. I think this is a good-looking bike. I love the headlights um, I think the headlights look pretty sick. The only thing is I'll tell you this is this right here uh, The display man, this is really budget, but I like it better than the MTL 9 that I had um, which I know the new MT-09 has a much better color TFT display, but the 2021 I had, it was smaller. This one's a lot bigger. I like that. But I wish they would have put a proper TFT color display on this, man. That would have been awesome. I like the LED headlight. I think that looks cool. Um, it looks good on this bike, but the MT-09, the new MT-09, it doesn't look that good on the MT-09, man. Like I said, MT-09 is just not a, a good looking bike, but it's... <laughs> I, had, I liked the bike. It was The engine was amazing, that triple cylinder engine. Um, but I'll tell you, I didn't like the seating position and all. Like I said, the tank, the hump tank feel, and then the tanks slope down, so you're like pushed into the tank. I just didn't like the riding feel on that MT-09 that I had. Um, like I said, just sitting on this bike and just riding in the parking lot around, man, it felt so... I'm awesome, you know. Now this one, I don't know how the suspension is going to be. The MT-09 suspension was a bit budget, um, but we'll see. But by the way, I may. Um, I'm thinking seriously about putting in, putting an order for the new 2022 or 2023 uh, MT-09. Excuse me, MT-10 SP. So that kind of will complete the trilogy where I've had you know MT-07, I had the MT-09, and then I had the MT-10 SP with that uh, semi-active electronic suspension on there. It looks pretty awesome. That's an ugly bike though, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> like I said, I think this is the best looking of the MT series in my opinion. I think, look at the accents, that looks sick, man. Look at that. It's got the silver Yamaha sim on the back. Look at that, that's nice, man. Small bike, but like I said, this, I love small bikes. Small, quick bikes. I'm telling you guys, I've had the fast bikes. I had the Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 Factory. I had the CBR 1000 double R, 600 double R. Fast bikes, man. I tell you, they're good for getting you tickets and wanting you, getting you to want to speed all the damn time, you know? Um, so I got to the point where I like doing wheelies and just ripping on it in the city feeling the torque off the line stop like the stop like that's where we do most of our riding man that's what i'm telling you these small quick lightweight bikes is where it's at on the street and the mt series stands for master of torque 
That's what makes it awesome on the street, man. It's got all that grunt, bottom end grunt you want on the street. Yamaha understands what riders want. I love Yamaha. Like I said, this is the number one most fun motorcycle I've ever had ever in my life. I'm telling you, this 2019 YZ 450FX Custom Supermoto that I made street legal did a full build series on it. Go check it out. I have the link in the description and comment section of the video. And uh, we'll see if this complements this bike. I'll be curious because this is 75 horsepower, 49 pounds feet of torque. I think on the dyno it's like 68 horsepower and like 39 or something like that pounds feet of torque. So this is literally, this bike is 14 horsepower less, 14 pounds feet of torque less uh, on the dyno. But this one's 265 pounds and this is 406 pounds. And like I said, you know, this is a torque machine, torque wheelie machine, hooligan machine. But I tell you, this thing does 105 miles an hour, but man, this thing rips to 105. It just, it doesn't feel, you don't feel slow on this bike, man. I tell you, this this thing, oh, I love this. We'll see how this bike is, man. Like I said, I have not done a proper first ride, and I will do that on Tuesday. I'll take it on the highway, street. We'll check the, the suspension, the brakes. I'm going to give you the full gamut first ride review on this, and I'm going to keep it real with you guys, because if I don't like this bike, guys, I'm going to sell it. <laughs> you know, I'll be quick to get rid of this bike, man, if I don't like it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real, the good, bad, and the ugly with this bike. You know, a lot of motor vloggers out there sugarcoat their reviews. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I keep it real, because I want you guys to get a proper bike You know, for you to know everything about a bike if what's bad about it good about it and everything and that's what i try to do with my reviews so stay tuned for that review leave a comment below on what you think about this bike um let me know what other bike you think i should add to this because like i said i want to get one more I, you think i should get that new mt 10 sp you know i think it's ugly as hell but um like i said it's got that semi-active suspension it's got that r1 engine this you know detune for the streets so Leave a comment below on what you think, man. But make sure you hit the thumbs up. really helps my channel when you do. Um, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when all my videos come. By the way, I release my new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm always there the first two hours when I release a video. So if you want to ask me anything, you want to talk about what's in the video or what's not in the video, whatever. Talk about what motorcycle you want or would I ask me any questions. I'm there. First two hours. Leave a comment. See you on Tuesday when I do the first ride. And I'll give you the real lowdown on this bike and whether this is a proper bike or not. Be there or be square. Till next time. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.